Hello everyone, welcome to my yet another video. In this video, I am going to talk about in the context of deep learning and specifically on time series analysis data or any kind of temporal data such like any audio signal, any music signal, any networking signal, any uh, any any type of data that has a uh, time series involved, right? Specifically, in the context of time series, there is one of the very trickiest problem for deep learning is basically if you think about if you uh, would like to basically apply uh, any unsupervised technique such like let's say your problem context uh, around basically time series clustering, dimensionality reduction problem. Why? Because the time series could be a very bigger, higher dimension data with many features involved. And if your problem not only univariate, it could happen to you are dealing with the multivariate problem. That means multiple factors involved in your time series data to basically take any kind of uh, decision. And one of the uh, like another way is to basically reduce the dimensionality and basically create the latent vectors that is J hat, Z hat, or doing some anomaly detection on top of basically your signal. Now, uh, one of the research paper I just came across that is basically <coughs> variational recurrent auto encoders, V R A E neural nets. In this particular research paper, I have given the link at the description and the in my readme section of GitHub repo. In this particular paper, if you look at it is basically saying, basically it is not a new neural network architecture which is involved. Just because it has the classical architecture of RNN and SGVB uh, that is stochastic gradient uh, variational bias model and on top of it, uh, when you overcome the uh, drawbacks of SGVB, and kind of use the RNN for recurrent neural networks for the variational purpose, it creates the variational recurrent autoencoder model. And auto Let's go into the deeper section of this uh, autoencoders part. And as you, as you already know, the autoencoder, uh, typically encoder decoder model have two uh, three parts involved. One is basically encoding part, encoder stack. There is a uh, latent state distribution which basically converts a bigger dimension into a smaller z hat kind of vector dimensions. And from the z hat, you are basically trying to reconstruct uh, the original vectors which is given as an input right so that is a decoder stack now let's coming back to the uh, research paper on a high level if you look at what it does what it says is basically recurrent neural network exhibit the dynamic temporal behavior which makes them suitable for capturing the time dependencies in temporal data meaning the problem uh, is to detect the seasonality pattern or may, maybe any pattern involved any trend involved any statistical concepts involved in the time series uh, for relatively if you use machine learning exhibit and all those are okay but typically on a basic foundation level I did not use the RMS prop. I first tested with the SGD, stochastic gradient distance, and later I just switched to Adam with a specific learning rate. And the uh, particularly this model implementation as a framework, I have used PyTorch. And specifically for the inference and the model training and the building purpose, I used uh, Lightning as a framework for Torch. Okay, and this is the typical time series Lightning data model which I have created. And I will also show the data set creation class, which is a very simple, very easy method to create, uh, like write a PyTorch based data set class and use as a data module in. Uh, lightning okay and for the configuration what are the configuration we have used is basically the total samples i have taken using the torch rand this is thousand sample i just generated for the experimental purpose for the number of features i have used one only one feature that is meaning it is a univariate problem basically you can convert the features to a more than one uh, which makes it as a multivariate problem with multiple factors you can basically sign through or basically change your time series data that way and sequence i have taken the 24 consecutive sequence on a hidden side i just taken the uh, this is just a hyper parameter right now i taken 30 percent of the sequence length as my hidden size hidden layer is two and latent dimension i am creating generating 128 as a dropout okay now uh, coming back to this spider's model architecture from this uh, particular uh, safari wherever the uh, this thing the model architecture how they have shown it is very very easy and just if you look at the actual implementation is also just this much that is it you uh, in the uh, like the model like uh, time series clustering model i have given it a name of recurrent variational auto encoder time series clustering lit because it is a lightning model and i have three parts in the one is encoder stack the second is lambda which is your latent dimensional space and uh, decoder model right and in the encoder we have used the lstm as an rna dropout then hidden to mean and log to bar and you get this two definition hidden to mean and the log to bar from another one repo uh, repository i have taken a reference but basically this tries to implement these two functions okay that's it uh, as a, log, a loss function okay and this is just in log variations i have used and this is basically converting the hidden vectors into a minimum pooling it is applying and after that latin to hidden state decoder model for reconstructing the original vectors back to after the gzr and hidden to output rather go with the main.py first 
as you can see there is one basically library i have created with the name of recurrent variational auto encoder for time series and uh, basically these are the like configurations i have used uh, which is already shown in the uh, you can find it in readme dot uh, readme file right and this is how a lightning model as i said i am just generating a new input like a clone time series data randomly created time series data from where this is a time series data set and trainer and involve so that's how it is start training the model if you want to look at the time series data set you can look at from this file this is the data set.py which is basically have the data set class very easy as you can uh, see already and this is the time series data model which i have just said okay now coming back to the model implementation part this is the model.py file you can look at how the things are going on basically see now we as i said we have one encoder stack and which involves basically typically three uh, one one two types of layer one is lstm and another is dropout and uh, this is the forward uh, pass for this pytorch lambda stack for your uh, latent dimensional space and as you can see this is the uh, forward pass also okay now this is the uh, decoder stack in this decoder stack there are three uh, uh, three stages involved is basically latent to hidden decoder stack and hidden to output and this is basically the recurrent clustering wala uh, lightning model definition and uh, you can basically look at and go through the code base if you would like and uh, uh, let's go with the report this is the terminal i just ran for the two number of epochs and uh, basically the results comes out really nice as you can see it just started with the training purpose is the stack and this is the two only number of two epochs i just ran and already the kl divergence the validation score plus reconciliation score is basically 1.6 1.6 uh, there is a chance to improve this model really further so till today till now this is what we are having so thank you for watching i will meet you in the next video.